Elite Facts presents The 10 Most Guarded Locations on Earth 10. Vatican City is the smallest country in the world. A little piece of trivia for your hungry mind there. Vatican City is also extremely grandiose, rich, beautiful and breathtaking and it also houses an extremely one-of-a-kind vault space. That is the Vatican secret archives. The archives have housed papers and documents that are private to those in power in the city. There are around 85 kilometers of shelves and over 35,000 catalogues that house writings going back to the early 8th century. To gain entry, you must be of high educational standing and apply for an access card to enter. 9. Svalbard Seed Vault isn't the only one on this list that represents an evil lair of a criminal mastermind. On the outside, it looks like something straight out of DC Comics. On the inside, it is a 120 metre long burrow into a mountain and it serves a single purpose – to preserve the world if disaster strikes. The seeds inside are packaged with four-ply packets and in rooms devoid of moisture to keep them in good condition. It is estimated that it houses 1.5 million individual seeds. The vault is no different from a safety deposit box system, with owners having a content box of their own. Security at the facility is state-of-the-art and fully automated. There is no full-time staff and no single person has all the codes necessary for entrance. 8. The Church of Scientology is no stranger to controversy, having been the focus of much media attention over the years. They also have one of the more secure sites in the world. Trementina Base is in the New Mexico area and its purpose is to house important documents for the religion and its founder, Ron L. Hubbard. There is no books here, his writings are engraved on steel plates and sealed in titanium. The Church of Scientology protects Hubbard's writings with extraordinary zeal. Copies of Hubbard's texts are preserved and hidden behind fences and in deep vaults, guarded by tight security. The underground compound stands as a symbol of the timelessness of Hubbard's texts and as a three-dimensional manifestation of the purity of Hubbard's legacy. The base includes a number of dwellings and the archives themselves, the latter in a network of underground tunnels. The base also has its own private concrete airstrip. 7. Julian Assange is the founder of WikiLeaks and can be found hanging out in the Colombian Embassy in London as he is a very wanted man. And you'd think it was for being a criminal mastermind, looking at the server placement of WikiLeaks. But it's simply because he provides the world with information governments don't want us to know. Pianen is a data centre, deep below 30 metres of granite, with three physical data links into the mountain. Also, Pianen is located in central Stockholm, with 1,100 square metres of space. Pianen features fountains, greenhouses, simulated daylight and a huge saltwater fish tank. Its data center has two backup power generators, which are actually submarine engines. 6. KFC is delicious to almost everyone, except for vegans, vegetarians and weirdos. Its delicious 11 herbs and spice mix on succulent and juicy chicken is a taste sensation and at KFC, it is a heavily guarded secret and they go to extreme lengths to keep it that way. KFC goes to extreme measures to keep the original recipe a secret. Only one person in the world knows the combination for the safe and only two people know which 11 herbs and spices actually go into the Colonel's secret recipe and how much of each. In fact, KFC purposely uses two different companies to make the recipe for them. One company does one part, the other company does the other, and then a computer processing system blends it together. 
unless you believe this little fact sheet, which states it's salt, thyme, basil, oregano, celery salt, black pepper, paprika, mustard powder, garlic salt, ground ginger, and chili powder. Enjoy. Five. New York City is the beautiful backdrop to this impending monster, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. It's one of 12 federal banks in the states and is the largest one, and estimates 1.8 trillion is transferred daily. The Federal Bank of New York maintains a vault that lies 80 feet below street level and 50 feet below sea level. By 1927, the vault contained 10% of the world's official gold reserves. Currently, it is reputedly the largest gold repository in the world and holds approximately 7,000 tonnes of gold. That's worth $415 billion. Gold bars are transported by elevator in the vaults. Once inside the vault, the bars become the responsibility of a control group consisting of three. Two New York Fed Gold Vault staff and one New York Fed Internal Audit staff. These three individuals must be present whenever gold is moved or a compartment is opened in the vault, even to change a light bulb. You aren't getting through this baby either. Four. Back onto gold now, and this is the United States Bullion Depository, a fortified vault in Kentucky. It doesn't sound like much, but that's probably because you know it as Fort Knox. Below the fortress-like structure lies the gold vault, lined with granite walls and protected by a blast-proof door weighing 25 tonnes. Members of the depository staff must dial separate combinations known only to them. The facility is ringed with fences and is guarded by the United States Mint Police. The depository premises are within the site of Fort Knox, a US Army post, allowing the Army to provide additional protection. The depository is protected by layers of physical security, alarms, video cameras, microphones, minefields, barbed razor wire, electric fences, heavily armed guards, and the Army units based at Fort Knox including unmarked Apache helicopter gunships, the 19th Engineer Battalion, the United States Army Armour School, the 3rd Brigade Combat Team, totaling 30,000 soldiers with associated tanks, armoured personal carriers, attack helicopters and artillery. Basically, it houses its own army. Three. The beautiful Belgian city of Antwerp is home to the Antwerp Diamond Centre, a huge corporation representing the sector. It's home to literally millions of diamonds. The vault itself comprises of 10 layers of security. One, a classical combination dial. Two, a key lock. Three, seismic sensor. Four, locked steel grate. 5. Magnetic sensor 6. Security camera outside 7. Keypad for the sensors 8. A light sensor 9. Security camera for inside and 10. Heat and motion sensors That is a lot of security. And yet, in 2003, it was taken for over 100 million in diamonds and they've still never been recovered to this day. Two. ADX Florence is one of the toughest and most unforgiving places on earth. It's a supermax prison that houses life sentence criminals. Inmates spend 23 hours a day locked in their cells and are escorted by a minimum of three officers for their five hours of private recreation per week. Each cell has a desk, a stool and a bed which are almost entirely made of poured concrete as well as a toilet that shuts off if blocked, a shower that runs on a timer to prevent flooding 
and a sink, lacking a potentially dangerous tap. Rooms may also be fitted with polished steel mirrors bolted to the wall, an electric light that can only be shut off remotely, a radio, and on rare occasions, a black and white television that shows recreational, educational, and religious programming. In addition, all cells are soundproofed to prevent prisoners from communicating with each other via Morse code. One. Out of all the names on the list, this place will be known to most. We're talking about Area 51, the home to all alien conspiracies and talk of spaceships and alien autopsies. It's actually called Edwards Air Force Base and is found in the deserts of Nevada. The military classifies Area 51 as a military operating area. The borders of Area 51 are not fenced, but are marked with orange poles and warning signs. The signs tell you that photography isn't allowed and that trespassing on the property will result in a fine. The signs also warn that security is authorised to use deadly force on people who insist on trespassing. And pairs of men who don't appear to be in the military patrol the perimeter. Observers call them camo dudes because they often wear desert camouflage. The camo dudes usually drive around in four-wheel drive vehicles, keeping an eye on anyone near the borders of Area 51. Supposedly, their instructions are to avoid contact with intruders, if possible, and act merely as both an observer and deterrent. Other security measures include sensors planted around the perimeter of the base. These sensors detect movement and some believe they can even discern the difference between an animal and a human being. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.